Getting back to that explosion at the One Oak gas plant in Medford it forced neighbors out of their homes. News Force Taylor Mitchell was in Enid and spoke with those impacted by the evacuation. Hundreds of Medford residents were evacuated from their homes a Saturday afternoon and many of them being placed in hotels like this Holiday Inn Express in Enid, all accommodated by One Oak. Since then, the ordinance has been lifted and residents are free to go home. But One Oak has extended the option to stay in case people would like to stay another night. I believe they've blocked them out through Wednesday evening at this point. This family tells News 4 One Oak is helping assist in many ways. We are staying tonight in Enid. We stayed last night in Blackwell, but One Oak actually told us that they would reimburse us for Blackwell too. So if you call them, then they may be able to help you as well. To clarify the potential assistance to those displaced by the evacuation order, One Oak Public Information Officer tells News 4, I believe the city of Medford is requesting people displaced by the evacuation to call them and be put on a list. One Oak currently is working and will continue to work directly with the community and numerous local agencies to provide various forms of assistance in the coming days to help those displaced by the evacuation. The evacuation zone has been narrowed to a one mile radius around the plant. U.S. Highway 81 will remain closed at Pond Creek and at the intersection of State Highway 11 and U.S. Highway 81. A family staying at the Holiday Inn Express in Enid tells us when the explosion happened, they grabbed what they could and left their home within an hour of the evacuation. It's a scary situation because you know what I mean, we do have gas in our house too, so it's, it's, a, it's a scary situation for sure. I just didn't know what to think. I was definitely in a hysterical. His daughter saw the explosion happen. Me and my um, friends, we were, we were in her mom's car. We were driving by to go to Enid, and whenever we were heading there, it had blew up. Did it scare you? A lot. Terrence Abraham tells us they haven't been accommodated for food other than the included breakfast at the hotel, but they are not upset with One Oak. It, it can happen, you know what I mean? It can happen anywhere, you know, anything can happen in any, any moment. So it's just one of those things when you live close, you just got to kind of expect it. It just kind of got chaotic for a minute, but they did, you know, their best ability to keep everybody calm and just give everybody the option what, what they could and couldn't do. We still do not know what caused this fire, but we do know crews are still on scene. It's down to Medford's departments, the Sheriff's Office, uh, Grant County Sheriff's Office, Miller EMS, and One Oaks Fire Brigade and their uh, incident management team. Has the fire stopped? Is it just smoke now? That I don't have any information on. If you are still needing a place to stay tonight, we have contact information on our website at k4.com. In Enid, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4.